right, guys. I, <laughs> I didn't get much sleep last night. Um, odd circumstances, but uh, I remembered that we had the battle today, so they're all over here, as far as I remember. Yeah, they're chilling over here. Okay, let's see what kind of weapons they have. They have, by the looks of it, some war bows or regular bows. There's... Oh, holy stink. There's actually a lot of archers this time around. That guy's got, um... He's an adaptive archer. Six archers, four regular on foot. I wonder why it would tell me that it was the other way around. Like, certain ones that weren't... I don't know doesn't matter all right so let's go ahead and um, make sure everyone's um, going to be available tell everyone to go here set up two divisions uh, that guy does that guy's melee so we'll tell him to go here just in case and I'm not sure where this guy is so let's see if we can't get everyone available Tailoring, so he's inside. Hauling, I'm not sure where he is. He's over there. And getting resources for construction. Good to go. North, harvesting resources. Whereabouts are you? In the farm. Okay, perfect. And then we got this guy, Sylvester, getting ready for construction. I'm not sure where he is. Oh, there he is. He's right there. Okay, perfect. Alrighty then. Uh, we'll get Sylvester over here. Looks like everyone was already inside anyways, so we should be good to go. Such a scary sound. Okay, we'll wait until they get to a boat here, and then we'll board it up, I guess. Uh, let's see... That's why we always keep wood by the door. Yeah, there's a lot of archers this time around. A lot of archers. We're going to have our hands full on this one. We'll wait until they get to... Probably... I'd say it's good enough to go. Sylvester, can you build that please?
Alrighty then. So we're doing really good. Uh, we got through that battle. I hope I got most of it on uh, film. Uh, it was pretty epic. There was like so many archers. One of our guys were close to death, but they're gonna survive. They're doing just fine. So, um, merchant caravan. Might be able to sell, sell some of the rough wine that we have. We don't have a lot of uh, regular stuff, so I'm just like, oh, we need to go trading pretty soon. And they're like, oh, okay, well, there's a merchant caravan coming in. We can trade some stuff. That's good. But, uh, yeah, there was a punctured, what was it? Pierced arm muscle. It was moderate when it first happened. They were losing some blood and stuff. They're going to survive just fine. It's They're a little unmobilized at the moment, but... Uh, they're healing over time. It'll take a couple days for them to fully heal, but... Alright, let's take a look at this merchant and see what they got. If they have any animals with them. Doesn't look like they're carrying any sheep or anything, unfortunately. But... Might be able to get some stuff out of them. So what faction are you with? Heresy of the Rose. Hmm. Oh, and I did notice that there's little baby deer here. I um, was wandering around uh, after the thing and just a little tiny guy. It's just like hopping around. I thought about taming him up. I'm like, mm, we don't really need deer. But. <laughs> oh, bless me. I dust allergies and. God only knows else what. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we'll uh, see if we can't sell some stuff to them for sure. And I'm, I'm not sure if they have, like, um, coins on them, but that would be preferably to um, get some more coins and stuff so we can go trading and stuff. But, well, we don't really need coins in order to go trading, but it's always nice to have extra coins on us. It's lightweight and we don't have to haul so much with us when we're going to trade for something. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, speaking of which, how is our donkey situation going? Uh, da, 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 da. We've got another cow by the looks of it. So this one is mature. Is that one mature yet? No, it's not. So it probably won't be breeding anytime soon. Well, at least not until it ages up. Okay, so they're going to come in here. Run right through a stockpile. <laughs> Go through the graveyard to get to the uh, thing. Yeah, we. I, th I honestly think that having the gate here and having the market would be a really nice change.
Right, so I managed some of the um, jobs uh, for the first top three people, and uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit more balanced for what they needed to do. So I got a couple people in cooking now, because I noticed our cooking was getting a little bit um, neglected, per se. So I just kind of got a couple extra people to focus on that once they get some of the other priorities done. And told them to make some fermenting fruit juice or whatever um, so we can get some more wine because they're going to be running low on that pretty soon I think and then yeah as you can see there's two people cooking now so it's going to be a lot better that way I think because we'll have the animal feed ready and then the food for the people as well so um Let's see, what else did we need to do? Did I not set that up? No, it, it just doesn't have anything to... Because we haven't gone hunting. We should probably go hunting. <laughs> I totally forgot that. I was so involved in the battle. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got everything we need. But after there's battle, there's always such a lot of work to do. Like refining the, the, the tools down. Breaking down the bows. Crafting out the... Um, the fabric, stuff like that. And we did get a, another, um, what do you call it? The, uh, Sylvester, like a, not Sylvester, um, superior, um, pelt, fox pelt, uh, carpet. So I put that one in Sylvester's place. It's still a modest, um, building. I really like the texture on the carpet, so. Like, for this game, I mean, everything's very smooth. <clears throat> That's the game style that kind of the, the art style that they went with but having that extra texture really just makes it pop out a lot really nicer and just makes you kind of appreciate the room and everything right but the small details like that really help i think um when it comes to games and stuff it doesn't necessarily need to be like a huge amount for detail and stuff like that but having that extra texture there just that little bit of lines can really go a long way um yeah, so we still have quite a bit of stuff that we need to bring in and stuff like that. We should probably see. From what I remember, this was pretty good quality. It's silver. Armor rating's 25. We might be able to stick that on somebody that has, you know, pretty bad armor. So, we'll see if we can't do that. Uh, let's see here. If we go to the inventory, we might be able to sort some stuff out. So, that he's got, North's got pretty good inventory or armor still. Uh, you could use it pretty much. We'll tell them to equip that. How's your helmet doing? Yeah, I could have a new helmet as well. So we got uh, quite a bit of stuff done today. We got the market pretty much made. Uh, there's 
a little bit of work still to do. I'm, I'm gonna tell them to build two more stalls, uh, just so that it's, you know, symmetrical and everything like that, so it looks even. I put a brazier in here with some stools, just to make it look a little bit nicer, with some props. We'll probably plant some trees in these areas on the corners, just to kind of decorate it a little bit more, but we're not gonna have it during the, um, winter because the saplings will simply die so that won't be good but uh, I put some more signs in just to kind of um, indicate what buildings are which just so it's a little bit easier to notice and they've been slowly chopping away the trees that need to be harvested and stuff so the ones that are mature and I've been starting to work on the wall for um, our gate so like the official gate not just not just a uh, thing like this. This will eventually be turned into our own land. We'll take down that and um, I don't know, we'll put some buildings or something in there probably. So we'll need to remove the stairs before we do that so nothing comes in to our town directly. That would be very bad. So, But um, outside of that, I mean, we got quite a bit of stuff done. We got that battle taken care of. Um, we got some stuff sorted out for our cooking and stuff. And I just want to check. Yes, we can unlock it now. So we can unlock the furniture level 2. And next episode we'll figure out what we need, want to unlock um, from there. Level 3 furniture requires a little bit more. Um, the advanced uh, research table, which we don't have at the moment. So we'll have to either unlock it or buy it when we can get something sorted out. But... I'm not too worried about it at the moment. We have tons of other things level two that we can unlock. So we'll eventually figure out what we want to unlock next. Outside of that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.